So when you're talking about, again, the clinical learner on rotations, they do require resources that they can access quickly at the point of care, right? You're talking about, you know, like Osmosis has those wonderful uh, slide decks and, and algorithms that uh, they can easily quickly access after they've seen a patient or when preparing to see a patient reviewing their chart forced by their teachers, which at the bedside are going to be, you know, uh, their attending physicians and supervisors and whatnot, depending on the uh, uh, clinical environment, right? So yes, this is being shown here wonderfully, being able to say, okay, I have a patient, I know I'm about to see a patient, for example, with dyspnea or shortness of breath, what do I need to be looking for? What are the type of things I need to be ordering? These are things that need to be accessed quickly, efficiently to progress a patient's care forward. And the wonderful thing about clinical learning, a lot of it is pattern recognition. The more and more I see a patient with dyspnea, the more and more I look at that algorithm, by the time I get to being ready to, again, practice, right? Practice readiness. Now I've had that ingrained in my head. And now I know, okay, I need to order X, Y, and Z. I need to ask A, B, and C to determine what I need to do for this patient's care. As opposed to the preclinical learner, again, it's to, to spur that intrinsic motivation. Why am I sitting here at home or in the library learning this, right? Really difficult to kind of be intrinsically motivated when you don't have a patient in front of you. That's when the content needs to really be engaging, right? Okay, so that's when things like the osmosis videos, for example, which are beautifully animated and are able to engage the students. Students, when they're employing the self-directed learning, they need and desire resources that are engaging, that are keeping them uh, engaged with the content and are not what are what is called passive learning, where it's just slides and someone just speaking to me um, so that I am able to absorb that content and be ready for my clinical uh, rotations. Start a conversation to learn more today.